Guys, this is Dark Horse Rowing, and today I have my lovely wife, Kian. Good job. As our demo. Uh, now, Kian and I, since she has been working on her rowing with this machine, um, she has this tendency to kind of use her head to lead the stroke and to try and get tension on the back. So, um, what I wanted to talk about today is this, this tendency for people to use their shoulders to lead the stroke or their head to lead the stroke. Now the two tend to kind of line up together um, and they, they come from the same root cause which is that most people struggle to maintain tension with their back. So they either use this head tilt or they lead with the shoulders in the stroke. So we have this really easy fix. Um, now you don't need per se this ball. You just need something about this size. And what we are going to do is take this and place it under her chin while she's rowing. Now, I'm gonna have her take a few strokes so that you can see kind of what we're talking about with leading with the shoulder, leading with the head. So go ahead, lovely wife. Good, so you can see as she starts to get tension, there's this little kind of rock of the head. Now she's doing that to try and establish tension back here so that she has something to push against. So instead, we're gonna take this and we're gonna place it under the chin. Now, I've also used just rolled up hand towels. Um, anything that, will, that doesn't make the person's head crunch down too tight. So this works pretty well for the time being. Now go ahead and row. And what you'll notice is that it takes her head out of the equation. And it forces her to really come down and use the legs to push against the machine. And that's really, at the end of the day, that's the goal, is we're just trying to get rid of this early back opening, this head tilt. Go ahead and give me a little bit more pressure so we can see as she starts to drive, you notice she's kind of fighting it, but that's always there to remind her to keep that head in place. Thank you very much. Now, the goal is not to row an entire workout with this. The goal is to simply break the cycle because that's what we need to do, break the cycle of uh, movement that we want to change. So this is something we want to change. We want to add this in, it breaks the cycle, we can then go into the workout. So I like to use this during warm-ups, um, and we've used it several times before, not this ball, but we use the rolled up towels and it works really well. So again, I'm not an advocate for the head being here while we're rowing, I'm an advocate of a nice neutral neck, but this is a great way to help fix that early shoulder opening or leading with the head while we're rowing. This gives you better strength through the legs and makes you a little bit more forceful. Cool? All right, guys, this is Dark Horse Rowing signing off. We will see you on the other side. Make sure that you are... <laughs> guys, this is Dark Horse Rowing signing off. Uh, make sure that you sign up for the Hustler's Guide to Rowing in which you will get our latest blog article and video every Tuesday, right? Yes. And sign up for the Dark Horse Crew where you will get coaching and programming twice a week. Plus, you'll have access to all of our coaches and e-content whenever you need it, right? Right. Good. All right, guys, we will see you on the other side. <laughs>